quarry number two of the cow's field in Yankalilla. Um, yeah, so I did manage to get here last weekend to do my weekly video diary. And uh, yeah, last, last weekend they had the, uh, the floor on and all the bearers. And uh, yeah, so one week floor on, bearers and floor on, bearers, joists and floor. And then the next week, all the wall, all the timber framing, roof trusses are on. So I'm going to put the uh, battens on the roof. Spoke to the boys the other day and they said they're coming back tomorrow. Working on a Saturday. The uh, roof batten's done. And then I think I think they uh, the timber framing guys. I think they put all the windows and doors in next. And we just got an email from Sarah Holmes, the builders. And they said the roofing contractors will be here this coming next week, this coming week, to put the roof on. So it's gone from sort of nothing, you know, a, a pad that I cut out and leveled, laser leveled, and then I built a retaining wall around the sort of U shape just to, uh, you know to give maybe 900 to a metre clearance all the way around the front of the house where we cut out of the hill. And then sort of fairly soon after that, the plumbers came in and installed the septic. And then pretty soon after that, they came and drilled the holes for the piers along the back. So we've got one or two rows of piers along the back of the house into the fill. And then there was a bit of a wait after that, waiting for the piers to cure. Yeah, concrete needs a good two weeks, two to three weeks for it to cure properly before you go uh, working with it. So then they came back. About four weeks they took them to get back here, they could get the carpenters here to uh, set the blocks up one week. Set the blocks up and floor one week. Framing another week and then hopefully roof will go up on in a day so yeah and then there'll be crew will come here and clad the whole place in weatherboards and then they'll be inside and all the jip rocking drywall what do you call it and uh, internal fixings second fix carpentry so yeah we're sort of going pretty quick I've got to get down here every week Do my little video diary. Looks like they've done the tie downs in the holes. So there's sort of bits of, bits of large angle steel. That would be bolted, yeah, bolted onto the bearer. And then they've got some barbs on the book welder onto the bottom of that. So yeah, one thing I did want to show you, which I think is sort of something I need any build, something goes wrong, nothing's ever perfect in this world, but what they did was somebody put these two piers, piers being the uh, hole dug in the ground, filled up with concrete, which is what the blocks are supposed to sit on. Somebody put these two, this one, and then that one there, in the wrong spot. Somebody put them in line with the rest of the bearers and blocks that are going down the house, under the house. But where they're supposed to be, because we changed the design a little bit. Bearers, bearers and the piers were supposed to be underneath that there, that 
load bearing wall just there which is a load bearing point that supports fairly major truss so yeah when I did my inspection um, when the floor was done and so you, you do you make your progress payment um, each time a stage is complete that's why they call it a progress payment so they sent us the bill for the up to floor level and I came back here and did my inspection I'm going to do an inspection every time they send us a bill and so I noticed that these two piers here under the load bearing wall weren't howdy <laughs> weren't in the correct position so I contacted them and told them about it and very quickly they had an engineer down here um, and the next day the boys doing the um, doing the carpentry they had added in that other bearer and partnered it up with the existing bearer that goes along the length of the house and then blocks on top of the concrete where it's supposed to be so you know, we can't move the load bearing wall and they can't dig more piers so we put an extra bearer in and we've doubled up in this space and that's apparently engineer said that is an adequate fix so you know I'm gonna keep an eye on this area and if I see a problem I might just tie these two bearers together I think that might be a bit of extra extra that could be done but yeah apart from that I would highly recommend uh, doing your inspections um, as the bill goes between before each payment just something to keep in mind when you're um, building with any builder so yeah hopefully there's no more hiccups like that and uh, yeah keep everybody informed of how it's going mm -hmm. I'm gonna have a look around <laughs>